Hey everybody, what's good? It's Nina Love, and thank y'all for tuning back into Urban Grind TV. And you already know I'm representing Gocho Entertainment. I got a fellow queen in the building, Queen Allow Money Music Group. Bro L, welcome to the neighborhood. What's good with you? What's the word, man? What's the word? I'm feeling good. I see a lot of family in here. We lit. Everybody feeling the vibes. It's it's gonna be a good night. You finna talk your shit? I'm finna talk my shit. You know how I get down, man. You know how I do this. You know how I do this. Let's get into that song since we on that topic. You feel me? What inspired you to write, perform the song? You know, give us your in-depth background. So, talking my shit, that's when I first had came, you know what I'm saying? I joined Loud Money. Um, it just was like my getting started, little, you know, single, you know what I'm saying? And at the time, something was going on, so it was a little diss track. But, uh, you know, everybody loved it. And then it's just certain parts <laughs> on the song that everybody know, everybody vibe to it. The little dance, my little leg dance, yeah. how we doing? Everybody know how to do the dance now, so... It came out real good. I I didn't really expect it like that. I went on a whole different vibe for them because I usually just rap real fast. But I was like, I need to, you know, tone it down a little bit, try to do something a little slow. Y'all, they rock with it. Y'all rock with it. You was there for one of the performances. I ain't gonna lie. It was definitely lit at the loft. Gary and Deanna, man, them loud money shows. I ain't gonna lie. I was ass. <laughs> <laughs> up that, man. Real spill. So how would you describe if somebody was to ask you, which one would you rather listen first? Six Shot or Talking My Shit? Excuse me, PG-13. <laughs> um, I'd rather y'all listen to Six Shots. Mainly because it's more, it give, I don't know, it's just something for you to listen to. It's a story. It's, everybody got their own story on it. It's real different because I got two um two different people on there. I got uh, Megastar, CEO, Loud Money, and I got A Book Carter, you know, ABC, the host. You know, he be everywhere. Um, it just give you a different feel, and it's my background, it's their background, and we just all kind of all put it together on another city type of beat. I think that was the coldest part, cause that's a New York beat, okay. and we came on there like we from there, but y'all don't know we from the rag with it. Come on, man, stop playing. Y'all know how I get down. I do this. I literally could do any beat, so I would prefer y'all to listen to that. It's more of a a ear thing for y'all on that one. Talking my shit is, is I'm sorry, P, PG-13, but that's more of a chaotic type of song. You know what I'm saying? Just ratchet. It ain't ratchet, but, you know, <laughs> you know, it's not something that you could learn from or, or relate to. No. Sorry about it. Y'all hit six shots. It's realer to me. Now, speaking of the background, you know, Give us a little bit of your background. Now, are you from the west side, the south side? Nina, please don't insult me like that ever again. It's to you. For the people that don't know at home, they need to know, you know, so they know how to come correct for Roel. Man, I am from the south side, born and raised. I would never live on the west side ever again in my life. It was a one-time thing. Don't, Nina, don't insult me like that again. <laughs> but um, I'm from the south side of Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Um, I started rapping when I saw my pops, pops rapping, you feel me? I just, I was a kid that went through a lot, so it was an outlet. I just took it, I ran with it. Everybody just loved me, I, I got it, you feel me? Everybody tell me I got it. Everybody that see me say that I got it. And it's just like, I been had it, but it's like I'm ready to go to the next level with it at this point. I'm ready to take off, because I've been doing it for so long. It's not like I'm getting old. I'm still, I still got youth. So you feel me? I'm still useful to a lot of people out here. Cause youth, youth really wins. You feel me? And I try not to go with the sex sale thing. So a lot of people that, people, no, no disrespect to nobody that do, you know, make twerk music, anything. Cause everybody vibe out to that, but it just wasn't real. You feel me? And um, everybody liked that about me. So I feel like I bring a different vibe, and I come harder than a lot of these dudes. I, I ain't gonna say no name. She definitely go bar for bar, y'all, man. She be lit, jumping in the audience. Like, man, they love her. And she growing on TikTok, too. So how was it um, <laughs> half a year? Man, tell them where you been. Half a meal. Half a meal. Tell them, how does it feel? Like, <laughs> just coming from, like, last year, you know, starting out and everything. It's, I don't know. It's just, like, I finally feel like I got to the next step. And um, 
Like I just said, I'm ready to get to the next level. If don't nobody know what my name means, it means reaching on every level. So now that I just reached that one, I'm trying to get to the next one. My name is just not, just something, oh, she just real, like, nah. My name means something. I don't even be, I only say it in like one song, you feel me? But I think I'm gonna start letting it be known on the stage now, you know what I'm saying? Don't just think, I reach on every level I get to because, you know what I'm saying, I wanna be the best. One of the best, at least everybody can't just be the best. Everybody got talent, but. Yeah, that's just, that's just how it be, man. I, I don't know. It just, it feel different, but it's just like some some things feel like I'm in the same area, you know? Yeah. And I'm ready to elevate from that. Yeah. So that's why I be more open now to doing work with more people and networking with yeah. different people so that I could get myself out of that predicament. Yeah, so, I yeah. definitely feel that. And you do be traveling. You just came from Atlanta, you know, working with QC and everything. Oh, yeah. Man, it's just so nice to see you just elevating. Like, even when I just started coming around when I went to the loft, like, you just glowing and just elevating daily. Just, man. man. You just got to take one day at a time. You know what I'm saying? If you know what you want to do, just work towards it. I don't, I don't advise nobody to give up on their dream or what they're trying to do. You feel me? So I just, I respect people that like to elevate and go out and work. I don't, I don't respect lazy people. I could say that. Like people that like to go get what they want. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know what I'm saying? You be rapping too. I be seeing you posting your little music videos and everything. Like, I be liking that, your promo, everything. We got to keep that up as artists so that we can get what we want to be. You know what I'm saying? And I could definitely say, like, just messing with y'all too at Loud Money. You know what I'm saying? Coming out to the shows. Y'all definitely helped boost me as well. Ocho. So I definitely appreciate you all. Like, oh, it's all love. It's all love. We, we try to support um all independent artists. So that's why we do all the showcases and slot giveaways that we do. We try to do something, you know what I'm saying? At least get 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 them on the stage or next to the people if we can't get them working with them, you know what I'm saying? Give them a shot. Um, but we definitely got love for everybody. And it's room for everybody. Not everybody, but it's room for everybody in this this industry, you feel me? Everybody got a chance. Just got to take it. I love it. I love it. It was so nice just interviewing you today. Let the audience know at home where they can find you. Yes, man. Y'all already know who it is. It's Royal G. Y'all can find me on IG at I am underscore underscore R O E L D A G. Let's get, let's go. Hey, y'all know what it is. It's Nina Love representing, and we out.